is it best to have test sailings before cruising resumes? I will let you know what I think right after this. And welcome back. I'm your host, Rob, from Cruising on the High Seas. So, you want to know, is it best to have test sailings? My answer to that question is, yes, it is best to have test sailings. And you may ask why. The reason why it is best to have test sailings is if they go fully vaccinated crews, then if you have not been vaccinated or not within the percentage that is allowed to cruise that's not vaccinated, you won't be able to cruise if it's a vaccinated cruise. By having a test sailing, everyone, vaccinated or non-vaccinated, will be able to cruise. And that includes people that aren't able to get vaccinated for any medical reasons. So, if someone can't get it because of medical reasons, should they lose out the ability to be able to go cruising just because they can't get the shot. So by going that um test cruising that allows everyone to be able to cruise at the capacity that is set out at that time. But I'm interested to hear what you guys think on this topic. If you think a test cruise is better than a vaccinated cruise and you can let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and while you're down that way let's not forget to smash that like button subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet already and ring that bell well later on today I'll be putting up a video asking about vaccinated cruises. Check that video later on today and let me know what you guys think about that video in the, in the comment section down below. Well, I'm going to wrap up this video here for you guys today. Until next time, I will see you on the high seas. Bye for now.